and hit it hard enough and low enough. And most people will hit it hard enough, but what they don't do is hit it low enough. And so that's what I like to work on. And I'll do it maybe for 15 minutes. Depends on how good I'm doing on it. Okay, now, I would get pretty clean except too high. And by too high, I was probably only an eighth of an inch off. And uh, it shows you how I've got to get on that one this time. You have a tendency a lot of times to want to sense your stroke. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get a lot more juice on this one than the draw. Okay, and I got a little lower that time. But one thing I noticed about the shot, I didn't hit it quite as good as the other one. Because when I made the ball, the ball didn't draw straight back like the other one. It went over here to the rail. So what that means is I cut that ball slightly to the right. I hit it a little too far to the right. So I didn't hit it as good as I want. So uh, I work on that because you really, you got to hit and I'll practice. Some of you that may be too hard, but the drill will still be fantastic. You can start out with this shot, and then just gradually, as you, if your draw power comes from your, your finish and, and, uh, and uh, your pocket. And, uh, what I try to do on the stroke, the stroke is so important. I try to come back slow. I try to keep my bridge pretty short. And I try not to go too fast because I'm going to have to stop it at the back of the stroke. So I try to come back slow and tall. And most of the teachers today teach what's called set pause for me. The set means when I dress the cue ball and I check my line, I see if my tip's on the cue ball where I want. I check my shaft to see if it's lined up at the three in relationship to the three where it's supposed to be, and then I pull it back and I come back at the cue ball, and I may do that three or four times. But if I finally think that uh, I'm, I, I'm aligned properly, then I go ahead to final stroke. I only look at this contact point. I never move my eyes off that point. And during the whole stroke. And then I come back, I have a slight pause here at the back. And that helps me from coming back too fast. Because if you come back too fast, it's hard to ever get control of the cue to go forward. Because you have to totally stop so there's no use to the first So slow, slow, pause, and then you accelerate through the forward stroke. And depending on, that's how you control your speed, how fast you accelerate and the length of your time. And you can get a lot of power with a pretty sharp stroke. It's one thing nice about the chart is you're usually pretty more accurate with a shorter stroke than a longer one. And then you've got to go through the ball. You don't punch it like that. That's not the stroke. You think it's the stroke. It's a nice smooth stroke on most levels. Most shots you don't need that much speed. Once in a while you got you need a little more power, but most shots. Now if you want to check how good you can hit the cue ball, take this six. Now if I line this up straight in, I want to make this ball, and I want that cue ball to stop dead in its tracks. If it rolls forward a little, then I haven't hit it real good. Or if it draws back a little, then I <coughs> The reason that ball stops when it gets there, it has no spin, no backspin, no forward spin. So that's a combination of where you hit the cue ball as far as how low and how hard. So, and then if I don't hit it, this ball in the center, it's going to go left or right too. So, so this shot, if you just want to play a stop shot and make it stop dead in its track, hard shot to do it perfect. See, now I went a little to the left, so I cut the six to the right. So my alignment is off a little. And I couldn't see as far as because I cut it. I couldn't see if I hit it uh, too low or too high or too soft. Thank you.
test to really be able to get that thing accurate. And nice and smooth, just because you're drawing the bar, it doesn't, some people think you got to punch it. You don't. You hit it nice and smooth. Well, it makes it come back as if you hit it hard enough and low enough. If I got to say I want to draw right back to my tip and stop, or as close as I possibly can. a little further and I had to cut the wall so it was hard to come back right at my tip. And I might have cut it left and center too. <coughs> probably what did happen. I probably cut the ball and why it came back to the right. Still cut it a little bit. But those are the things, even if you don't understand all the physics of the game, it's not necessary. But what is necessary is for you to notice what you're doing. It's like deflection, I know you've probably heard of that word. Deflection, I think, was a term invented to help people sell kids. They claim their brand to flex less. But actually, what's more important is when you make a mistake, there's no And I missed this ball and it went over here to the right. I wasn't lined up right, and then that one time I tried to draw it. I cut it left center and popped it and it threw it into the rail. So I noticed that I, where I think I'm lined up, I wasn't quite lined up with it. So I learned from my mistakes in the long way I cut it. I started to get zeroed in and used to the table. And I thought that was better. But if I didn't notice those, if I didn't notice what I was doing and learned to adjust and correct, I'd have a hard time. On every shot, you either going to hit the way you want. Are you going to hit the ball too thick or too thin? Are you going to hit it too far to the left or too far to the right? Are you going to hit it just right? So we're creatures of habit. We have a tendency to keep doing the same things over and over. <laughs> where I need the cue ball and then uh, I figure how hard I'm going to shoot it, where I'm going to have to hit the white ball to do that. And then uh, once I bend over, I'm only working on that alignment and I'm thinking a little bit about the speed of the stroke. And I try to keep it simple. That's why the last stroke I don't think about anything except uh, looking at that contact point and make sure I get the contact point and make that ball. Any questions? Anybody got any questions? And, uh, you ready to start? Yeah. What we're going to do now is we're going to start pulling for a challenge match. I mean, a challenge match is what I get. And today's going to come back. Whoever's interested in uh, challenging Dick, I have numbers over on the table. Go ahead and pick up a number.